An Akron company that specializes in coal is now in hot demand. It's a story you'll only see on News 5, and our Bob Jones shows us how the business is playing a big role in the demand for very cold storage as we inch closer to a potential COVID vaccine. Demon Sons is a five-generation family business in Akron with a cool history. We went from a horse and buggy shop in the early 1900s to a uh, carbonic gas distribution company to in the mid 40s we uh, went to uh, dry ice. Harry Geem says each year the company makes 6 million pounds of dry ice. It takes about 2.2 pounds of liquid CO2 to make one pound of solid. Using a pellet press for smaller chunks and a block press for 55 pound squares. And then it turns around and takes that snow powder and squeezes it into a solid block. The temperature of the finished product, negative 109 degrees. That can make your skin freeze almost instantly. <laughs> it's cold. And that's why Game & Sons is seeing a spike in demand from places that could be distributing the COVID-19 vaccine before the end of the year. The vials need to be stored at ultra cold temperatures estimated at minus 94 degrees. We're getting calls from various hospitals. Uh, Giant Eagles called from their health departments, their health sections, their stores. Uh, and the Ohio Health Department has also called for a uh, supply. These are the pellets the vaccine will be stored under. For now, Geem says the Ohio Department of Health is requesting 15,000 pounds per week. The dry ice will be shipped in these big blue boxes, which can hold up to 1,200 pounds of dry ice pellets. Harry believes his company is the only manufacturer of dry ice in Ohio so he expects his phone will keep ringing. I'm imagining it's going to last for a few months. I, I, you know, I don't know the rapid or how fast it's going to take a long time, especially when they said these vaccines are double dose, so that means it's going to take twice as long. But he's glad his company, with a long history, is doing its part for a brighter future. It's just neat. It's exciting. It's a new avenue. It's a new uh, venture, I guess you want to say. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.